everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. I've had a busy day today. It's actually quite late in my evening, well quite late for me, because I go to bed early by English standards. But um, no, I've been doing an awful lot. I was up way past my bedtime yesterday because I attended a workshop on Twin Flame Communication by my good friend Lisi, whose channel is Twin Flames Heart's Desire, so I strongly recommend you nip over to her channel and check her videos out after. And also a, another good friend of mine, Drake, has done a personal reading for me. His channel is called Diving Into The Divide, and I've just shared one of his videos on my community tab, so please check him out too. And his reading is still fresh in my mind, so no doubt bits of it will filter into the Divine Masculine channeled message I'm going to do now. Can you see that okay? It's a little bit dark. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. My beloved Divine Feminine, <clears throat> please be compassionate with me at this time because I'm really going through a lot. I'm really going through it. I'm really feeling that really dark contrast. If you happen to be having a really good time at the moment, well, that's the, um, that's the process, that's the effect. When one of us goes in really deep, the other one holds the towel. But I'm coming to a place of illumination. It's a little bit blurred. I'm coming to a place of illumination. Um, I'm really getting clear on who is really loving me and who's not right now. I know who you are to me. I'm coming to, t I've known for a while, I've rec been recognizing you for a while. But I'm coming into a space of really coming to terms with who you are to me and I'm not daft of course I know I absolutely know who you are to me I have never hungered for anyone like this I am sexually starving for you and only you because I'm coming to a space where I'm really being, I'm really able to follow my heart. No matter what happens, I know it's you that I'm going to be ending up with because I choose you. I don't choose anyone else. I can't choose anyone else. There is nobody else for me. I already know. I already know. I'm not oblivious to the truth. I know who you are to me. You're the only one for me. Yep. I'm going through it alright. I'm releasing all the stuff that doesn't serve me, all the people pleasing, or the settling, or the misaligned beliefs about being unlovable, or thinking that my good is outside of myself. And so I try and give, over give outside of myself whilst taking from myself which is why it may have looked like I was giving everything that you desire from me to someone else but I'm moving through that don't worry I want to come home to you my one true love and find my true purpose and find my love I'm tired of doing things the old way tired of pretending tired of not being myself I really want to shine, I really want to express my love.
and give love and also receive love. But this longing feeling, this hungering feeling, it's because I believed that my love was outside of myself and that I didn't know how to love myself. Like I wasn't worth giving myself the time of day to really love myself and that's why I distracted myself and giving to others before myself. So I'm really, I'm leaving all that behind, all that's leaving, I'm coming to a place where I can truly express myself and truly uh, be myself and truly love myself. And the grass wasn't greener on the other side because if at any time you felt that you had to find love outside of yourself, even from me, then I would have no choice but to mirror that and look for love outside of our union. But how successful was that? Not very much. Whoops, sorry about that. Chucked absolutely everything on the floor there. So the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So I'm um, changing perspective. I'm looking in more. And as I'm taking the initiative to really love myself and know myself, that's what's going to set me free. And I'm also coming in, coming to terms with who you are to me. You really are my twin flame. I'm getting clear there. Of course I'm going to know. Of course I'm going to absolutely sense that. Of course I'm going to reevaluate my feelings for you and how I feel about you. Find the real you, know your path, you know your path. Because I'm finding the real me just as you're and doing the same. Because you can do this also. Everything that I'm going through, you are too. Reflect and release. There's a lot about purging and releasing in this message. Yeah, I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting on the um, divine truth. It's important for me to acknowledge and listen to the divine truth. So you can help me with that by keeping reminding yourself that you don't want to stay stuck in your head. You want to be in heaven with the divine and with love. The words are no longer enough. I'm working on something big to win your heart. Well, when it comes to words and communication, it's not about one waiting for the other over there to come over here and say something or do something or come around and make changes. No, none of that that is going to is going to cut the mustard. That's not the way. The way is to really go into your heart and really, really, really experience. Our essential oneness, really tune into the love that is me. Really experience our oneness because we're always one. It's just a conversation with yourself or a conversation with myself. It's all one and the same. That's where you grow the communication. Observer. Yeah, I, I'm watching you. I've been looking at you, I've been observing you from a distance because I've been missing you for one thing and for another I'm 
starting to feel more worthy of being in your light and starting to feel more worthy to actually see you and I am seeing you for who you truly are and I'm recognizing you as who you are to, who you are to me and there really is no other so if you're a little bit frustrated about how slow things seem to have been moving and you have been wanting me to come around and make changes please know that it's all moving at the perfect pace for you you can choose to speed it up a little bit but know that everything is unfolding at the perfect place pace for us and every moment of time spent doing the inner work doing the spiritual work was absolutely necessary for building a solid foundation for our union on which to stand permanently and forever in love in money finances abundance friendship family home leisure spirituality etc etc food sex very important both of those so that's why it seems to have been taken a while but please know we're absolutely bang on track that's a really good thing hmm, that feels pretty good I think I'm gonna end this message on that note I really hope you enjoyed this Divine Masculine message and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.